Hi there, my name is Martin Anderson and I'm the Digital Communications Team Leader at CFA. I'm just going to show you quickly how to submit a news article to the Public News and Media site or the Members Online Member News section. Um, to submit to either site you go to the news.cfa.vic.gov.au site or you can go to the public website and click on the News and Media tab. You click to log in, you click the Member Login button up here and you'll be taken to your CFA login page. Once you're logged in, you can either, from the drop-down menu of news media, click Submit a News Article, or click on the Submit a News Article on the dashboard page. Uh, on the Submit a News page, you'll be able to access this video to remind yourself if you need any reminders of how to submit an article. Uh, the headline of the article, obviously very important uh, to try and encourage people to read the articles you need to make it as interesting as possible. The author will automatically be populated with your name, although you can change that if required if you're submitting an article for somebody else. You enter the start date here if you just want it to um, be published as soon as possible. Select today's date. You can choose the featured image. Now if the featured image needs to be 16, a minimum of, of 1600 pixels by 1200 pixels and it needs to have the, the main subject area within this sort of red line, so in the center of the image, depending on what device size, a mobile or tablet or desktop computer, the edges of the images can be hidden. So you need to make sure that people's heads and any text or anything important is within the central area of the image, uh, as you can see in this pop-up window. You just choose a file, select your image, and that will pop in there. Uh, the image needs to be a sort of 4x4, four 4x3 by four, four by ratio. So, um, yeah, 1600 pixels by 1200 pixels, that sort of size, landscape size. You can enter a caption for your image. The intro, the first paragraph of the article, again, after the headline, the most important part of the story that's really the most interesting thing you need to have in the intro to encourage people to actually take the time and read further into. Uh, the news article. So you enter that here. Here in the main content you enter the rest of your, your article. You can add a YouTube video in your article so you can basically select this button and you go to the, new, the, art, the video that you want to share. Click on the share button. Click this embed code from the YouTube video. And then you can select that in there, and that will automatically embed a YouTube video wherever you want it within your article. There's some tips here on inserting videos. You can add up to five additional images in your slideshow just by selecting them for the slideshow at the bottom of your article. The category of your article is basically the, the main topic that it falls under. So if you're writing about a, a house fire, you would maybe select in this incident structure. If you're uh, writing about an event that your brigade is having, select events. The people category is really only for people profiles. And obviously, there's in virtually every news article we upload, there are people involved in the, uh, the news article. But unless it's specifically a profile or a specific piece about a particular person, like a, 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 an honors piece or something like that, you might select people. Where did it happen? So most news, most articles happen in a particular place. If you're talking about a specific event or incident or something like that, so you just if the uh, if it was an incident that happened in District 11, just select District 11. Um, some articles are just general announcements, especially the ones we did headquarters. So maybe statements or um, general sort of announcements of things that are happening in CFA, and obviously they don't happen in a specific location so we would select no specific location for this. The audience so this is whether you, if you just want the news article to appear on members online for CFA members only you would select this checkbox or if you want it to be public and on members online select this one. At this point uh, it's a really good idea to preview your article to see how it will appear. So here you can see the image as it appears in your caption, 
intro, you can see a video if you've embedded it. And just make sure everything looks good. If that's all good, you just close that window and I'll take you back to your submit a news article page. You can save it as a draft if you need to get more information or, or um, need to get a, uh, you know, need to wait until um, something's approved. Or if you're ready to go, you can submit the news article. When you submit the news article, if you haven't filled in um, any mandatory fields, you'll get these warnings. So I haven't filled in the headlines, so I need to fill that in. I need to fill in the category and location. So the category, we'll say community safety, location, we'll choose Burwood East, and we'll try that again. And if you have successfully submitted your article, you'll end up in this page. Um, you'll be able to see uh, the article um, on your dashboard under My Articles. You can see this test headline is the one I've just submitted. And a member of the news and media team will get a notification that you've submitted your article and uh, somebody will approve it or get in touch with you if there's any issues. So we try to approve articles within within this, uh, one or two business days of them being submitted. If it's something that needs urgently submitted, you can contact the um, digital media team, and get the contacts on member news. Um, you can um, email digital-media-team at cfa.vic.gov.au just to uh, let us know that you've there's some time pressures on the article you've submitted. Otherwise, um, once the article is approved, you should also get an email telling you it's approved with a link to the article on the Members News site. If you want to get the article on the News and Media site, just go to the News and Media Latest News and you can get the public version uh, of the article there if you uploaded the, the article to the public site as well. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or any issues, you can contact us via the members online site or at digital-media-team at cfa.vic.gov.au. Thanks. Bye.